Do I need business insurance for my business? What types of insurance policies are must have for businesses? In this video, we will discuss 11 types of business insurance. Let's jump into the video. This is Business Media TV. My name is Mimi, the business advisor. On this channel, we advise business owners on how to start, grow, and sustain their businesses. If you are new to this channel, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel so you can get more information about businesses. Business insurance protects you from unexpected costs of running a business. Accidents, natural disasters, and lawsuits could take out your business if you're not protected with the right insurance. Business insurance helps to make sure both your personal assets and your business assets are fully protected from unexpected catastrophes. There are some insurance coverages that you may be legally required to purchase. For an example, workers' compensation insurance, unemployment, and disability insurance. Some states may have additional insurance requirements, and these vary from state to state. So please check with your state to find out what you will need for your business. Generally, you should insure against things that you would not be able to pay for on your own if something happens it is a good idea to speak to insurance agents to find out what kinds of coverages make sense for your business make sure you compare terms and prices to find the best deal for you and your business so let's discuss the types of insurance policies number one workers compensation insurance it covers your employees. The coverage is for medical treatment, disability, and death benefits in the event an employee is injured or dies as a result of his work with that business. When I started my business, I had to get workers' compensation and general business liability. I shopped around and found a company that could provide the coverages I needed. Number two. General liability insurance is for any business and the coverage protects against financial loss as the result of bodily injury, property damage, medical expenses, libel, slander, defending lawsuits and settlement bonds or judgments. Number three, product liability insurance is suitable for businesses that manufacture wholesale, distribute, and retail products. The coverage protects against financial loss as a result of a defective product that causes injury or bodily harm. Number four, professional liability insurance is for businesses that provide services to customers and it offers coverage to protect against financial loss as a result of malpractice, errors, and negligence. Number five, commercial property insurance is for businesses with property and physical assets. The insurance coverage protects your business against loss and damage of company property due to a wide variety of events such as fire, smoke, wind, and hailstorms, civil disobedience and vandalism. Whether a business owns or leases its space, property insurance is essential. This insurance covers equipment, signage, inventory, and furniture for insured events. Please note that events like floors and earthquakes are generally excluded from the standard property insurance policies. If your area is prone to these issues, you may need to get a rider policy. Number six, home-based business insurance is for businesses that run out of the owner's personal home. This is usually added to homeowner's insurance as a rider and it offers protection for some business equipment and liability coverage for third party injuries. If you've been getting value from this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. 
Number seven, vehicle insurance covers business vehicles. Vehicles should be fully insured to protect businesses against liability if an accident should occur. Businesses should insure against third party injury as required by law, but it is advisable to get a full coverage insurance policy that provides collision and comprehensive coverage. These coverages will, in addition, cover that vehicle in an accident. Number eight, business interruption insurance covers any unforeseen event that stops the regular business operations. For example, if a disaster or catastrophic event does occur, a business's operation will likely be interrupted. During this time, your business will suffer from lost income due to your staff's inability to work in the office, manufacture products, or make sales calls. This type of insurance is particularly applicable to companies that require a physical location to do business, like restaurants and retail stores. Business interruption insurance will compensate a business for its lost income during the insured event. Number nine, directors and officers insurance. This insurance policy will protect the directors and officers of a company against their actions that affect the success or operations of the company. This type of insurance covers costs or damages lost as a result of a lawsuit. If, for example, a director or officer of a business finds himself or herself in a legal situation, that's a direct result of their actions on the job. Number 10. Data Breach. If a business stores sensitive or non-public information about employees or clients on computers, servers, or in paper files. That business is responsible for protecting that information against a breach. Should a breach occur either electronically or from a hard copy paper file, a data breach policy will provide protection against the loss. Number 11. Business Owners Policy a business owner's policy is an insurance package that combines all the typical coverage options business owners would need like business interruption insurance property insurance vehicle coverage liability insurance crime insurance into one bond this simplifies the insurance buying process and can save you money because the bundle of services often costs less than the total cost of all the individual Coverages. Question of the day. What type of business policy do you think your business will need? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.